Welcome to our number games of 1, 2, 3, or it. These are very popular with parents, teachers, and kids of all ages. Tips for teachers and parents. Each game is really short. Uh, you can learn each game in just a few seconds. There's a number of variations for each game. Since there's 10 games in this set, and each of the variations, there's probably as many as 40 games in the set. The games are actually listed by speed as well and ability level. So you can have younger children playing the earlier games and starting with simple addition and subtraction, moving on to multiplication, division, fractions, and exponents. As a child advances in their math ability, they can still be challenged with more and more games. So there's really a lot of games here that will keep your children at home or in the classroom busy for hours. The cards are numbered 0 through 16 and there's a wild card. There's actually five of each card. Illustrations on the cards represent the numbers. So for instance, an eight would have two sets of four sticks. And this facilitates young children in counting and learning the number sequences. Totsoy. You take the deck of cards and you split them amongst all the players. So take your hand. The idea is and this game is for children to learn number sequencing. So it's very easy. You, the first player plays a card. The next player plays a card. If the card is higher than the previous card, the first player to shout OI wins all the cards. OI. In this case, it was only one number above the previous card. We could change the rules. The rules are very flexible in all these games. So for instance, you could say the card has to be at least two numbers higher than the previous card or three numbers higher, or you could say it has to be several cards less than the previous card. So the person who won the card, or, or cards, plays the next card. And so we continue. If the card coming up is an OI card, the first player to shout OI wins the cards. It is a wild card. OI. When one player has all the cards, they are the winner. Now we're going to demonstrate a slightly more complicated game than the last one. This one is called Quad Oi. You deal the first player four cards. They are required to use at least three cards, if possible, to make a combination where two of them would equal the third one. You can subtract or add. And you can also make this more complicated and allow them the options of multiplying and dividing. So in this case, we could look at the first solution, obvious solution. We could say 8 minus 5 equals 3. And in this case, if you took that as your solution, the card you don't use is left on the table, and the cards that are won are kept by that player. However, that is not really the best solution, because if you leave a card on the table, the next player is dealt an additional four cards. So they would have five cards to choose from, and the possibility of winning all five cards. So in this case, we would really preferably have the answer of 8 plus 5 equals 13 plus the 3 equals 16. And that would be a better solution. And thus you'd win the cards. Two quick oi. That's the name. All players are dealt an equal number of cards. In this case, we've split the deck between the two of us playing the game. The first player plays a card. The next player places a card next to it. The players mentally add and subtract the two cards, looking for the solution for the next card thrown down. If the next card thrown down in this case is 8 plus 1, 9, or 8 minus 1, 7, the first player to shout OI wins all the cards and places them in their hand. When the first player has no cards left, they're out of the game, and so on. And the last player remaining, who has won all the cards, wins the game. We don't place it there, we place it there to cover up the 8. We are looking for only the top two cards. So in this case, now we're looking for a 6 or a 4. Now we're looking for a 10 or 0. We're looking for a 16 minus 5 equals 11. We do not count 16 plus 5 because the highest card is 16. And in this case, the first one to say oi would win the game. 
16 minus 5 is 11. I say oi, I win those cards. The game does continue though, with the person who just won the last card starting again. Now it'll be 5 and a 3. 5 and 3 is 8, 5 minus 3 is 2. We're looking for a 10 or a 4. And again, we're looking for a 16 or a 2. And a 3. And a 4. Oi! 16 minus 12 is equal to 4. So therefore I have won those cards as well. Okay, the next game in the series is very similar to Blackjack. In Blackjack, each player is dealt two cards with the object of trying to be the closest to the number 21. In our game, it's very similar. Each player receives two cards. So player one gets two cards, and player two gets two cards, and the dealer gets two cards. However, we're not going to 21. Each player takes the cards. We're going to a target number. And you have to use all the cards in your hand. However, you can add and subtract. And you can go over that number. So you do not go bust as you do in blackjack. In this case, each player is allowed three turns, meaning three extra cards. And so would go to the first player. Would you like another card? Yes. Put your, put your hand out in the front so the camera can see it. Right. OK. So the first player has a 14 and a 13. We're going to show you this. Normally, the other players would not see the cards. In this case, the player would say 14 minus 13 equals 1. 1 is very close to 2. So that player might just hold and not take any turns, any extra cards. The next player in this game has a 14 and a 6. Obviously, we have to subtract again. So 14 minus 6 equals 8. This player would really like to get an extra card. This player now has 8 minus 1, so he has 7. Take another turn. Okay, um, well, the 14s cancel out straight off, so you don't have to think about them. And we could say 6 minus, five equal, uh, six minus 1 equals 5. 5 is close to 2, but I would take an extra card. Whoops, that did not look so hot, did it? But actually, if you redo all the numbers, maybe it's not so bad. 14 minus 13 equals 1. 14, so that equals 1 right there. 14 minus 6 equals 8. Minus 1, minus 1 equals 6. So that player, unfortunately, cannot have any more cards, and they only got 6. We are only adding and subtracting to start with. You can play this game where you can multiply and divide in your hand as well. The two players have now played. The dealer then would reveal their cards. In this case, the dealer has 13 and a 12. 13 minus 12 equals 1. So what we have here is the dealer is actually takes preference. If there's more than two players, and two players of the dealer and another player have the same cards, then the dealer takes preference. If there's only two players, then you would call it equal.